Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this workout. So today I have your final installment of our Functional Friday. So this is gonna be our push day workout. This is actually associated with the Functional Friday video all about the chest. As far as what you'll need for our workout today, we are gonna be utilizing some kind of resistance band. So I've got a loop band here. If you don't have anything like this, you can also grab a yoga strap or a t-shirt, just something that we can kind of pull apart on. I'm also gonna be utilizing three different sets of dumbbells. I'm gonna use 10s, 15s, and 20s. Use whatever you've got. We can always make different adjustments to make what you have on hand work, but really just try to think of lighter, medium, or heavier, okay? But all that being said, grab your equipment and let's get it started on that warm up. So, guys, we're gonna start our warm up on the hands and knees. And we're just gonna start with some cat cow, 30 seconds in each of these, dropping the belly down, focus comes up, and then we exhale, pulling the belly button up into the spine. This is my favorite way to start warm-ups, start any kind of workout, just because we're really bringing a lot of movement into the muscles of the spine that are going to support us. Just about 10 seconds left here before we bring a little twisting, working that T-spine rotation. Good, we've got three, two, and one. Let's bring the right hand to the outside of the right ear as we press up twist and bring it down. So we're gonna take a whole 30 seconds on each side here. Really focusing on bringing the shoulders down and away from the ears every time we twist. Good. And especially if this is like your first piece of movement of your day or you haven't moved too much yet, you really just wanna make sure that you're not pushing your range of motion. Give me one more. And back down. Go to other side. Got like random crap on my mat. Anyone else that ever happened to you? Also, before we jump on into it, guys, we've got kind of this like hold for a second. Um, this will be the last video that you see in this apartment. We're moving in like a week, so please ignore any moving boxes or random boxes that you see in the background. We are doing the best we can over here. You've got three, two, and one. Perfect, bringing the arms out wide, widen the knees, and we're just gonna hit a child's pose. Good, opening up the shoulders. Make this really active, so pressing into the hands and really think of pulling back here. So you should start to feel those upper ribs really separating, stretching the intercostal muscles. Good, you got three, two, and one. Roll it up, straighten out the knees. Let's step one foot forward. Can I stay in frame here? There we go. <laughs> Good, so we're just warming up that hip. So guys, even though this is a pushing day, um, we typically will think like, okay, it's gonna be a lot of upper body. It's definitely gonna be upper body, but we are gonna be working through um, a lot of different lower body exercises as well. So we just wanna make sure that everything is nice and primed. We've got four, three, two, and one. We're just gonna switch sides, bringing that opposite leg forward. Really making sure here that we've got knee in line with the ankle. That way we're focusing on the hip instead of the calf. Good. Just about 15 seconds left here. And we're gonna start to incorporate a little bit of that banded work. Good, you've got five, four, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna kneel it down here. Let's pause that clock. Bring in your band, if you have a loop band, right around the wrists, okay? If you have a resistance band, like a long one, you can always hold the sides. Same thing if you've got a yoga strap, t-shirt, belt. Um, you ideally want something with a little give to it, but we can make anything work here. So we're gonna sit down, raising the arms up so that they're on the diagonal, keeping the shoulders down, and then bringing it back down to chest level. Good, so we're just gonna be here for 30 seconds. <sighs> Beautiful, 15 more seconds, really focusing on keeping the shoulders down and retracted. So you'll feel those biceps, shoulders, you'll feel the muscles of your back. What we don't want is shoulders up by the ears, so really focus on bringing it down. Good, hold it at the center, press it out. Press, 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 or you're gonna be pulling here. Either one. Good, almost there, 15 seconds. I know this one burns. Nice job. Final 10. We only do it once. Make sure you're not leaning back. I just kind of caught myself. 
You have five, four, three, two, and one. Let that band go. Make your way onto your back. I'm gonna pause that clock again. We're just gonna set up into a bridge. So we're gonna do these two exercises two times through. First is a good old fashioned bridge. So driving into the heels, opening the hips, and then coming back down. So we're really focusing now on warming up the glutes and hamstrings. Just spending 30 seconds in each, making sure we're activated. Good, final 10. Exhale up, inhale down. We're gonna go for an arm and leg lower in four, three, two, and one. Legs up, arms up, everything lowers out. My couch is in the way and we're gonna come back up. Good, so lowering everything out, low back is down on the mat, and then we come back up. So if you need to modify this, I'm gonna scoot forward so I can actually show you. You can always come to tabletop with those legs, making it more of a toe tap, or you can always alternate. You can always isolate the arms and isolate the legs. You've got lots of options. Four, three, two, and one. Back to your bridge, pressing it up and down. Good. Relax the shoulders. So what we're trying to do here is just warm up those glutes again, like I said, and warming up the core. Even though it's a push day, we're gonna need those two things to help stabilize us. Good, you got just about five, four, three, two, and one, arms and legs up. Here we go, 30 seconds here. So we're only going as far down as we can control. So that means if this is the end of your range of motion, that's it, all right? And when I say control, I mean low back, down on the mat. Imagine that you're trying to crush a piece of paper underneath your back. That's how tight down you should be. 10 seconds, use that exhale down. Nice job, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Give those knees a little hug. Woo, you can sway side to side, rock or roll your way up, and I will see you for your first circuit. All right guys, so we are standing for our first circuit. We're gonna do three exercises three times through. First two exercises are always going to be for reps. Last exercise is going to be an AMRAP, 30 seconds, so just as many reps as possible. I'm gonna start our thrusters with my 15 pound weights, all right? So you wanna go for more of your medium set. We're only doing 10 reps. I'm just gonna ooh, come on over here. So we are racking them on the shoulders. This is gonna be a lot more power in the legs than the upper body. So you can probably go a little bit heavier than you originally think here. Feet are gonna be hip to shoulder width apart as we send the hips down slowly. At the top, we're gonna press. So you get to use the power from your legs to press the arms up. Here we go, that was one. That's two, good. So it's really just a squat and press with that eccentric tempo at the top. That's four. Five, the hardest part is like getting out of the bottom. Six, good. Seven, almost there. Eight, good, watch your ribs. Nine, so every time you press up, make sure we're not leaning back. Last one. 10, beautiful, set those down. I'm gonna grab one of my lighter weights, I've got a 10, and we're gonna go for 10 kneeling Arnold presses. Whew, it's actually it's gonna be a little heavy. So, oh actually both of them, sorry, it's not unilateral. So, bringing the elbows together, we're in a circle, press up, that's one. Two. Three. Oh my gosh, I'm already tired. Four, good. Five, six, making sure here we're not leaning back. Seven, eight, whew, three more. And by three more, I meant two more. Nine, and 10, beautiful. Drop those down. Here comes our forearm reaches. So we're on our forearms, we're gonna reach one arm forward at a time, legs are wide, 30 seconds. Forward and back. So the goal here is to make sure the hips are not moving. So if you need to, you can always drop down to the knees. Whew. 
That's it. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna do all that again. Good, you have four, three, two, and one. Let that go. Ah, take a few seconds to breathe here. Oh my goodness. That got me like already in round number one. Woo, okay. So, now you know what to expect, right? We have two more rounds of that. I'll stop my clock, grab my 15s. So you know, if you need to go a little bit lighter, you totally can. Those 10s for the kneeling Arnold press are, I don't know why, they feel heavy for me. Woo, here we go. 10 more reps. Thrusters, right on into it. Good, this is four. Final three. I know I never talk as much when we're doing reps because I cannot count and talk. Go ahead, one more. Whew. Drop it down. All right, kneeling Arnold. Now guys, if it's feeling really hard on the knees, one thing you can do is drop the weight a little bit. Other thing you can do is actually stand up. So I'm kneeling it to get a little bit more core activation. If you would rather stand up, why am I so winded? You totally can. Hoo hoo. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be halfway. Three more, eight, nine, 10. Nice work. All right, drop it down, forearm plank, let's go right away. Here we go, three, two, and one, let's go. This is feeling challenging today. Not because it's not supposed to, but I will say, watching football and you know, eating some nachos, drinking some burrs, definitely doesn't help. But you know what? No regrets. It's all about that balance, guys. You have three, two, and one. Let that go. Ooh, I'm gonna take a little shoulder stretch here. All right, one more round. I will say, guys, we're gonna try and hit lots of different types of presses to make sure it's not just like an overhead press the whole time. Cause honestly, after this rep, your shoulders should be like pretty freaking tired. Rep, round, after this round. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Good. <sighs> All right. Thrusters, final round, rack those weights. Here we go, final 10. God, I think it's three more. Good, last one. Ooh. Nice job. I actually hit myself in the head <laughs> in one of those. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Okay. Kneeling Arnold. Oh, these are gonna be rough. <sighs> I actually don't practice these very often, so I feel like when I do, it's like really, really difficult. <sighs> All right, 10 reps, 10 pounds. <sighs> Good, you have three more. It's okay to take breaks. It's always better 
to let your body recoup for a second and then finish your round instead of just like doing crappy movement patterns. Here we go. I have three more. Nice. All right. Forearm reaches. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Keep opening up that chest. You're about halfway there. We get a quick 30 second break after this. Good, final 10. Watch those hips, mine are swiveling. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Oh, Zoe, you here to work out? Yeah, right. All right, 30 seconds, take your break. I will see you for circuit number two. But it's nothing new And my lover's honesty I can push it back, push it back down if I have to If you want me to Cause we can All right, guys, welcome back. We are down on the mat for our next circuit. Hallelujah, right? We're gonna come first into a bridge with a chest press. So I'm using 20s here. You can definitely go heavier than you think, okay? A lot of times it's scary because like you're laying down, putting the weight on top of you. Trust that you can go a little heavier than you think. So we're coming down into a bridge hold. From here, I want you to find that field goal position, elbows right over the wrists. We're gonna press the arms up and down. I want slow and controlled for both ranges of motion here. So we don't wanna push up fast and then resist down today. We're just gonna work on that slow controlled tempo. That's four. Good, that's five. See, and I didn't even really take my own advice. Advice, I can actually probably go heavier. You have four, three, good, two, one more, one, and down, let that go. Whew. All right, we're gonna flip over, grab your lighter set of weights. I'm using my 10s. You could totally go 15s here. Honestly, I just don't feel like changing my adjustable dumbbells. I don't really trust laying on the plates. So we're gonna go for row, row, push up. That's one rep, okay? We're going for 10. When you need to, you can always drop down to your knees. Here we go. So we have row, row, elbows bend. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna hit my face on my couch. Down. And up. Try to switch which arm is starting each time. That was one. We're going for 10, remember. Two. Good. Now, if you need to, you can always drop down to those knees. Just make sure your hips are down and forward. All right. Good. That's five. I'm going to pop back up. Oh. Good, one more. And up. Woo! All right, flip on over. 30 seconds of work here. We're going for chest fly presses. So we're gonna open those arms out to the side. 30 seconds, pressing up and down an inch. Let's start it up. Arms up, we're gonna open. So this is a very chest heavy section right here. Woo! Oh my goodness, I'm already feeling it. Good, halfway there. Little bend in the elbows here to protect the joint. You're gonna feel your bicep engage as well. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, back to the bridge chest press. Honestly, the renegade rows and the push-ups were like killing me. Whoo, okay, we're gonna start that up. I'm gonna keep it, let's see how I do with the 20s. This round, if it still feels light after, and like I still feel like I have more, more in me, maybe I'll burn it out with 25s. Otherwise I'm just gonna stick here, 
See how I'm feeling now that I've gone through one whole round of that. Here we go, 10 reps. Whoa. Good, four more. Keep it slow. Last one. Good, oh, all right. Carefully come on out of that. Probably not in the way that I just did. Okay, I think now that I've gone through a set, 20 is perfectly fine. I'm gonna play, because my elbows are kind of clicking today, which is odd, but in case anyone else has that issue, I might start to take my hands off the dumbbells for the push-ups. I'm gonna play around with that a little bit. So, 10 reps. Whew. Let's do it. Here we go, row, row, push-up. 10 rounds. I might just need to play with my stance. Here we go. So I'm gonna walk my hands off. Still clicking a little bit. That's it. It's really that left elbow today. So guys, what I'm gonna do, maybe this is good to show. That feels better. Whew. Might just be a little tired today. <sighs> so I might just need to take the modification down on the knees, which is totally fine. <sighs> good, we have four more. Whew. So a lot of times, a lot of my clients get really mad at themselves when they need to take modifications. But the thing is guys, if we're not in a modification and we can't perform the movement to its full, like, you know, what it's supposed to be. One more. Two things are gonna happen. We're not gonna get the most out of the movement that we can and we might hurt ourselves. So I literally am feeling like my elbow's clicking, something's going on weird when I'm putting my full weight on it. So I'm not gonna do that today. I know that I probably either slept wrong or I don't know, just something is being weird. That sometimes happens with the body. I'm not gonna push it. I'm not gonna kill myself on one workout even though I was gonna say the whole world's watching. Yeah, right. The whole 4,000 subscribers are watching. Um, but this is a really good lesson. When you need to modify, modify. It's not worth getting injured. All right, here we go. We have 30 seconds on our clock. Woo! Need my weights. Here we go. Out and in an inch. So you don't typically see a lot of these like isolated movements where we're just really isolating one little range of motion in my programs. You usually see a lot more compound movement. Um, this is really being used as a burnout at the end of our whew, circuit here. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. So I talked about it in videos before, but I really like to utilize those like isolated movements or like sometimes people call them accessory exercises, really just to like help burn out the muscle at the end. Um, I don't think that we should rely on them for building strength. I think that we don't move in accessory movements in everyday life. We move with our whole body in all directions, at all angles, so we should train that way. But I really like it, like this whole circuit, you're like, we know, it's all about the chest. So just making sure that we're burning that out. All right, let's go for that chest press one more round. I don't know what I'm gonna do about those push-ups. I might need to take them out. Whew, that elbow's killing me. All right, here we go. Slow and controlled, because I was forgetting that a little bit last time. Good. Good, four more. Last one. Ooh, nice work. All right. Let's come into those rows and push ups. Ooh, let's see how I'm feeling with that elbow. Not sure what's going on there. I'm sure nothing to worry about. So I think I'm going to just go for them. I'm going to keep doing them so I'm with you guys. I'm going to go for them on the knees. Again, do what you need to do. Maybe you need to take the weights out, just do weightless rows. 
don't kill yourself here. It's not worth it. It's one workout, one day, just 30 minutes of your life. Here we go. So just making sure the hips are down and forward. Row, row, and push up. Good. I do have a little bit, and a lot of people do, like a little bit of a hyperextension in my elbows, almost to the point of being double jointed. So I might have just been loading it wrong, hyperextending a bit. Good. I believe that's five. We have five more. Whoo! Good, three more. So you can see I'm taking that quick little child's pose in between when I need a recovery. Great, great tactic instead of just like sitting down because you're keeping it active, you're getting a quick stretch, and then you're getting directly back into your movement. <sighs> nice job, all right. Goodbye, clicky elbow. Oh, we have to do chest, chest, chest fly presses. Here we go. Woo! Let's start it up. <sighs> Those weights. And we're out to the side. Little presses. Good, 15 seconds. Remember you wanna have a little micro, or a little more than a micro bend, guys. I want you to think like you're holding like a beach ball. You have five, four, three, two, and one, let that go. Woo, final 30 second break before we head into our final circuit. Third circuit is on deck. Take a break, grab a quick sip of water. I'll see you in 30 seconds. All right guys, final circuit. So final circuit, three times through each exercise um, and then no finisher today. So our last exercise will serve as our finisher and then we're gonna stretch, cool it down, we're on with our day. So we're starting with a sumo press and twist. So we're gonna take, I'm taking my 10, my lightest of the weights, toes are out to the side. We're gonna press that weight straight out, twist and in, that's one rep. So then we're gonna twist to the other side. Okay, 10 of these, then we're going down to the mat for some skull crushers. Here we go, three, two, and one, blast off. So press it out, twist, and in. So as you come down, I want you to press, then twist, making sure that we are not leaning back away from that weight. That's three. Now, if it gets too heavy with the weight out, you can always hold it here for a moment. Go ahead, give me four more, four, Brace that core. Three. Good, last two. Last one here. Whew. All right, down on the mat. So like I said, we're getting a lot of different types of pushing, right? We were doing overhead, we were doing chest press, now we're doing right in front of us, which is just like slightly different because of gravity. So now we're gonna do some skull crushers. Good old fashioned, oh my goodness, just 10 of them. And I'll see that struggle. So I'm using my tens. Um, this is gonna be really heavy on the tri, or really big for the triceps. Triceps are another big pushing part of your body besides your chest. Here we go, arms up. We're just bending the lower part of the arm, so from the elbow to the wrist, bending it down and extending up. Go, we go for 10. <coughs> Good, four. That's it. Five. <sighs> Trying to keep that back on the mat. This is definitely another like accessory exercise for sure. If you wanted to, you can do this in a bridge to get <sighs> the bottom part of the body engaged as well. <sighs> good, two more. Oh, good, last one. Whew, that did not feel that heavy at first, and then by the end, 
Oh my goodness. All right, final exercise. We're going for a lateral bear walk. If you've ever taken a class with me, you know these are my favorite. So we're gonna go 30 seconds. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips, tippy toes. We're gonna walk across that mat. Here we go, 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Walking all the way across. How do those triceps feel? Oh yeah, mine are on fire. Good guys, now if the lateral bear walk is a little bit too tough for you, I literally just want you to hold your tabletop, okay? Maybe you crawl to one side, put your knees down, and then pop up to the toes, come back up, whatever you need to do here to get on through it. But I want you holding some kind of tabletop motion for some part of this time. You have three, two, and one. Let that go. I know those are always brutal. Ah, oh, staple in my classes. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna head into that sumo press and twist. <sighs> Bring that heart rate back down, two more rounds, then we get to stretch. Here we go. Grabbing that 10. <sighs> Toes out to the side. Again, tailbone straight down to the floor. Here we go. <sighs> and in. Try not to let the, the chest round forward or try not to lean back. As that weight comes out, you're gonna feel more of your core engage. So if you need to go lighter on the weight, totally fine. You have three more. Good. Last two. Beautiful, last one. Whew. Okay, bring it down. Whew. Triceps. All right. We're gonna start it up. 10 reps. Now guys, even though this is our first isolated tricep exercise of the uh, class, we've been using our triceps the entire time. So anytime you're in a bridge, not a bridge, sorry, anytime you're in a plank, your entire arm musculature is really working to support you. So you're gonna be surprised how tired your triceps are right now. Good, now if you need to, <clears throat> if you need to drop down to one weight, totally fine. Just grab an underhand, bend in the elbows, and then we extend back up. All right, bend in the elbows, palms are up, extend back up. Good, we have four more now. Let's go. Good, oh. two more. Give me one more here. Oh, nice work. All right, let it go. Lateral bear walk. Whew. Crawling over. Oh. Let's do it up in three, two, and one. Take your time with these. Remember, we're working for time, which means that we're working more for that time under tension. So I don't care how many reps you get across, I care more that you're holding your form correctly. If we start to rush and we're too fatigued, our form is gonna suffer. Good. Nice, you have five, four, three, two, and one. Let that go. One more round. Whew. Shake those arms out. Okay, last round here. Sumo press twist, skull crushers, bear walk, done. All right, let's do it. I'm just procrastinating now. Toes out, straight down, we press it forward, twist. Over halfway, you have four more, so just two more each side. Last two. Whew. All right, down on that mat, skull crushers. Don't be afraid to shake it out. Don't be afraid to go to one weight. 
Again, it's all about making sure that you're in the best form possible and not just going through the heaviest and the hardest version just because you think that's what you should be doing. We're always working to progress towards something. Good, almost there. Final four. Got two more. Whew, I'm gonna let him breathe for a sec. Oh, I almost made it all the way through without a break. Here we go. Last two. One more. Whew, okay. This is it. This serves as our finisher. Here we go. Start your engines in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Remember, hips are down. We don't want that booty up. Bend the knees, hovering off the mat. When you need to, drop them down, take that break. Shake it out, you get right back in when you can. You are over halfway, just about 10 seconds. Try and keep those hips squared off. You're out in four, three, two, and one. Whoo! All right. Let that heart rate come down. God, I'm gonna face the side. Let's take a quick child's pose. Widen the knees. Curl the hands over to the right, left arm on top. And other side over to the left, right hand on top. Good, walking it forward, roll it on up. We're gonna come into a pigeon. So bringing the right leg forward, left leg back, holding it up. And I want you to think of opening your chest here. So almost like a little, it's like a pigeon cobra hybrid. Opening the chest. Good, and then we'll crawl it forward. And carefully use the hands to press yourself up, switching to the other side. So I've got left leg in front, right leg back. You can use your hands, press your chest open. And then we'll walk it down. Watch out for your couch. Whew. Perfect, pressing up, coming into the center. Just find a nice seated position. We'll take a little overhead reach. And other side. Good, bring the arm across the body. Whew. And other side. Good, hitting that tricep. And let's take a little spinal twist. And last one. Oh, nice work, everybody. Let's take one final breath all together. Breathe the arms up to the sky. Big exhale, pull it down in a heart center. I don't know about you guys, but my arms are feeling a little bit shaky. So definitely drink a lot of water after this. If you wanna hit a few more stretches, go for it. And I will see you all in the next one.